Patrick Dowdy's all smiles with his caretakers last fall. They treated me like family. He's kept the pictures of their dog, Lulu. Lulu, very nice, uh, calming presence for the house. I mean, I wouldn't have received the kind of personal care that I got if I was at some other facility. Patrick suffers from seizures and memory loss. His father says he spent almost 60 days in Methodist Mansfield Medical Center last year, and he told us the hospital referred him to boarding homes run by Regla Sue Bacor. Because I work and I can't take care of him 100% of the time. That's how we encountered Sue. His father, Robert, asked that we not show his face. I'm totally shocked. Father and son are still trying to reconcile their firsthand experience with what's detailed in court documents accusing Bacor of mistreating one of her residents. Everything that's what's being told to me does not fit what I saw the entire time, and that's an honest to God's truth. Patrick says he was in his room this past December when Arlington police came to do a welfare check on another resident. Things got very chaotic very quickly. Court documents say the other resident told police she'd been held against her will, forced to drink a liquid medicine with a mint taste, and left in her own waste for days. The warrant says police could immediately smell an odor of urine and feces. Patrick does recall hearing the woman yelling late at night. Very quickly someone would come and go in and start speaking to her and doing their best to calm her down and sometimes it took some time. But for his part he says he didn't witness any mistreatment during the six months he lived in Bakur's boarding homes. Nobody ever lost their patience with anybody and because they were dealing with people who could be, you know, a handful sometimes. Patrick's now back home with his father because Bacour's homes have been shut down. If it wasn't for the help and the care that I received through her and her family, I'd have died. In Arlington, I'm Tanya Iser. WFAA did reach out to Methodist Health, but the response we got back simply says they're not commenting on the investigation.